as we forge forward, never quitting, never stopping. We are doing a 1971 429 Cobra Jet project, guys, and we're not going to stop. And it's kind of exciting because we've got the original rear end and Mr. Yeah, I know. We knew that. <laughs> we had a differential, and uh, it's a, an original locker. Uh -huh. uh, oftentimes, we build lockers out. Uh, this one is uh, going to just be uh, rebuilt, and it's going into the 71 Cobra project, guys. And really exciting times because we are um, in the process of possibly looking at fundable to um, have everyone get involved in this project, and we're working on building that out. Or a, a, a number of you have actually spoken about wanting to be involved in a, um, a actual being an investor in a Mustang Medic project, and this is an opportunity to do so with the J code. And you know the passion uh, that we put into this car, and it's going to be the best restoration ever done on a 1971 429 Cobra Jet. I'm saying that right now to you uh, with the most uh, sincerity. So if you want to get involved. I cannot remember the name of the gentleman that actually contacted me. You know who you are. You're a steady watcher. Please contact me again, and I can give you all the details on how you can be involved on this 71 project. We are extending it out. We're not going to do uh, and cram another harsh deadline on this car. We are opening it up to the end of next year, uh, end of 2015, and every little nitty-gritty detail is going to be done. And here it is on the differential. Thank you, Joe. Uh, here's the details on that. I just knocked the bearings off the carrier. I didn't get a heck of a lot of noise. Oh, that, I'm not done making noise yet. This is right there and right there. Uh, the clutch packs go in here. I just I got them soaking. I had them soaking so they can go in and work the way they're supposed to work. Ring, pinion. I'm getting the bearing off of that right now. And pinion. Ring. Ring <laughs> and pinion. I'm saying that so I can remember. As, as versus just, rack and pinion. Exactly. I'm saying that so I can remember. And then there's the casing. This is the carrier, the carrier, the, the housing. Yeah, what do you want to call? It? Yeah, it's, it's already been it's, it's been soaked, and now I got to do a brush on it, clean got it, it, do a fine line. Got it. So mm -hmm. that's the inside back part. That's the part that you, that's the part that you guys all see when it's in. <coughs> of course, it's going to be painted with the rust oxide and see, uh, color. See and then, that right there? Yeah. That's a big N. That's for a nodular case. That's the extra strong Ford case. Yeah, and and this is what, what is the actual the, the the kit that you get? What was it? Because it was on it was on the Oscar's '68 uh, Shelby also. What was the name of the of the of the gear oh, set? Oh, oh, the Daytona. It's a day. It, it's a Daytona. It, the, the, this part is what makes it a Daytona. Besides, it uses bigger bearings on the carrier. It uses bigger bearings here. Also on the ring gear on the pinion gear. Excuse me. It uses a bigger bearing here, which is this, this this front bearing right here. This is the part that goes in here, like this Skish rear bearing. Yeah, guys, and Shelby uses these, and uh, this is bone stock car, 1971, right. and we are building in value on this car. Uh, so, thank you, Jim. Thank you. And that's the latest update. It's coming all together. We've already got the casing done. I believe you guys saw that, and we're uh, rocking and rolling on this car. Nice one. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old hippie in me. I know. So continued exciting times, and I am actually quite grateful that uh, we're going to be able to do uh, this car and put the attention to detail that we always do on our cars. Lord knows it's been a heck of a project, as you know, with losing wheels, um, our machinist, and then those darn main caps. It took seven months to get and the extra expenses. But uh, we've got... Mm, approximately $30,000 into her so far, and we probably got another 20,000 change to go back into her. And this car will be valued at approximately 70 to $80,000 when we're done. I promise you, it will be the best restoration ever done. And if you wanna get involved in the project, this is your opportunity video for you right now. So, act now.